Having trouble with your TP-Link router? If the WAN port on your TP-Link device is acting up, you've come to the right place. In this guide, we will walk you through the steps on how to fix a TP-Link WAN port. By the end of this video, you'll have the knowledge to troubleshoot and potentially resolve the issue on your own. Step one, check physical connection. The first step in addressing a WAN port issue is to examine the physical connection. Inspect the cables. Ensure that all cables are securely connected. Unplug the ethernet cable from the WAN port and replug it to verify a proper connection. If possible, Use a different cable to rule out cable damage. Check the port for damage. Look closely at the WAN port for any visible damage or debris that could interfere with connectivity. A can of compressed air can help clear out dust or debris. Step two, restart the router. A simple router restart can sometimes solve connectivity issues. Power off the router. Turn off your router by unplugging its power cable. Wait about 30 seconds to ensure a full reset. Power it back on. Plug the power cable back in and wait for the router to fully reboot. Check if the WAN connection is restored. Step three, update firmware. Outdated firmware might be the culprit. Here's how you can update. Access the router's interface. Connect to your network and navigate to the router's web-based setup page, typically by entering 192.168.0.1 or tplinkwifi.net into your browser. Log in and navigate to updates. Enter your login credentials and go to the firmware upgrade section. Check if there is a new firmware version available. Download and install. If an update is available, download it and let the router complete the update process. This might resolve WAN port issues caused by outdated. Step four, configure WAN settings. Incorrect settings can lead to connectivity problems. Verify internet setting. In the router's interface, check that your WAN settings match the requirements provided by your internet service provider. IP and DNS settings. Ensure that the IP address, subnet mask, and DNS settings are correct. If unsure, you can set them to obtain automatically, which is usually sufficient for most home networks. Step five, reset the router to factory setting. As a last resort, reset the router. Backup settings. Before performing a factory reset, back up your current settings to avoid losing configurations that are not related to WAN issues. Perform the reset. Use a pin to press and hold the reset button on the router for about 10 seconds. Release it once the router's lights flash. This resets the router to its default settings. Reconfigure the router. After the reset, you will need to reconfigure your network settings and reconnect your devices. Fixing a TP-Link WAN port can seem daunting, but following these steps will guide you through the process of identifying and solving the problem. Remember, checking physical connections, restarting the router, updating firmware, confirming WAN settings, and even performing a factory reset can resolve most issues. If none of these steps work, consider consulting with your ISP or TP-Link's customer support for further assistance. Perseverance, you'll be back online in no time.